Hey, it's uh, 2 a.m. with Jason, and uh, this morning in Nate's sermon, he uh, he talked about the cross, and, and not just the cross, uh, from Luke chapter 23, he talked about um, the people in the audience, uh, people that were not on the cross, that were there witnessing um, what was going on. And and as as we're talking about that, um, uh, the story, this is, this is Rembrandt's uh, The Three Crosses, and uh, as you can see here, um, the people, I'll kind of zoom in a little bit here. The the people are in a, a, a well, varying different um, emotions and displays of uh, of their expressions that are going on in the crowd. And, and, and it really challenged us to say, you know, <laughs> where are you? What is your response to it? Make sure that, that you're not missing it even. Um, because they're, who knows if all the disciples were there. Um, it's interesting, our art historians uh, believe that Rembrandt actually has painted himself into the shadows there. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure which side. Um, I, I couldn't find where, but but they've, I've read that they, they believe he's in there as well because he recognized that his sins um, as well put uh, put Jesus on that cross. You know, it's interesting. Charles Spurgeon says there are no crown bearers uh, in heaven that were not cross bearers here below. And uh, it reminded me of a, of a gentleman down in, in North Carolina, I was uh, on uh, playground duty um, for a summer care program, and there's this guy who was walking by with a cross, um, not not the size that we see here in this painting, but uh, but it was pretty big. It was, it was probably about you know eight or nine feet uh, tall, and um, it looked rough. And as he's walking by the playground, the kids all gathered up alongside the fence and. We're saying, what is he doing, Mr. Christmas? What's going on? And 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 uh, so I talked to them about how, you know, uh, we as Christians are called to, to bear our cross and, and, and to follow Christ. And and it was a challenge for them. And, and we saw him uh, later, a couple of days later, and, and they said, man, he's still bearing his cross. Like, like, what's that about? Like, why? Why would he still have it? And I said, you know, that's the thing with with Christianity. Um, it's not just a one time thing. It's not just that, well, we did it one day, so we're good now, right? No, no, no. Christ calls us to bear our cross daily. Um, you know, Vance Havner, he says, you know, what we need are, are more people of the cross with the message of the cross, be it bearing the marks of the cross. Um, because Jesus died, it needs to have done something to us and for us. And it, it did something for us. that It saved us. Um, but there needs to be something that uh, that challenges us a little farther, that pushes us a little farther because of what he has done for us. Um, and so that's my challenge for you is, is, is what, uh, how are you bearing the cross today? Uh, what is the way that you are, are being challenged and, and challenging others uh, around you that they know that, hey, um, you, you weren't there in the crowd, but and yet it's because of your sin and my sin that Jesus was here. And, and so what do we do with that? How can we bear the marks of the cross today in the society that we're in? Um, God gives us opportunities for us to make a difference and for us to show that, that we are his um, and that we uh, can, can relish the opportunity for redemption that he provides. Um, that is my challenge and, and that is my, my goal as well for myself. Um, to say, okay, how, how can I let others know that, that, man, I am so grateful for what God has done, and, and I want to make sure that I am bearing the cross as well, that people know that, that I am with Him, um, not necessarily in a necklace that I wear, not necessarily in a, or, or anklet, um, but in the fact that, that I bear the marks of, this is what a forgiven life looks like, um, Thank you. In fact, let, let's just pray. God, thank you so much that you forgave us, that you forgave me, uh, that you saved me, that you died on the cross for, for my sins, dear Lord. And, and although we weren't there, although I wasn't there, uh, my sins put you there. And, and I thank you, God, uh, for the sacrifice you made. I ask, God, that as we look and as we see the faces, dear Lord, that that we'd be challenged um, to know that it's our sin that puts you there as well. and um, But then you ask us to bear our cross daily. 
And I ask, God, that you would help us, dear Lord, to to be that witness uh, to those around us, that they might know that we have been with you. Um, (laughs) The song says, they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. Help help the love and the grace that you poured out on us to be poured out all over other people, that they might say, man, there's... I want to know who this God is, who this Jesus is. Um, Thank you, God, for the opportunity. Help us to make the most of it. In your name we pray, amen.